This is Loyalist Lancer Sports in 30. OCAA Women's Rugby Sevens versus the Seneca Sting and versus the Conestoga Condors from Thompson Rugby Park in Oshawa. Sunday, October 6th, 2024. Welcome to OCAA Women's Rugby Sevens match. For this first for this first game today, we have the Seneca Sting versus Loyalist Lancers. And the play has been blown in and the kick is away. Goes high and short. The Sting not able to touch that one and it goes out. This one's going to be This one's going to be just quick. Quick tap and go, I believe. Wasn't too much quick about it, but yeah. quick movements here, throwing it out to the wing, gets caught in the meantime. The sting, the sting quick to get to that ball, but the Lancers here, quick stiff arm, get, breaks them through the line, not quite, has, has at least three of the sting on them. Looking to be in good formation here as it gets thrown out to the side. They break the lines there, not quite able to make it through though. We get through. Another quick ruck, and away they go. That one, they need to come in with more speed to that, but that's a good run there. Breaking through, gets almost down to the 22 there. And there, that's the line break that they were looking for. Almost down. They, the Lancers just need a little bit more, a little, little bit of an extra push. And that could do it, that could do it right out to the wing. Quick juke there, brings them back inside. Not quite able to finish off the play though. They're gonna spin back. Going right over here. Ruck fling, flings it out, going right side. And that's the line they needed. Plows through someone and goes down. Not quite past the try line though. Surely this one will get them there though. And there it is. That's gonna be a quick try here for the, for the Lancers. That's gonna be five. Looking for the point after now. That's gonna be a little bit of a steep angle Considering they made it so close to, made it so close uh, to this to the sideline, but and there's the win there. Actually coming up behind the kick, so it actually should help them out a fair bit. But you got to hope it doesn't it doesn't send their kick too far out to the side. Laying it up now. Kick is up. No good. Goes wide right. This first try of the game, that's going to be that's going to be Faith Air, I believe that was. And now looking looking to kick this one off, get get the game going once again. Ball finally comes out from Seneca as they get that over. Ready to kick. The Lancers here getting ready. Wind here is brutal, making the mic even worse. That kick's a good one though. Get some distance on it. The Sting hope to get to the edge, not quite. Looks like they're gonna be driven out of bounds there, yep. So that is going to be a line out, I believe. Yep, they're gonna to go to a line out set here. We'll have to see. You got a few options here. There's always about a million and a half trick plays you can do off the back of a line out. So it's gonna be interesting to see how they go and if they're just gonna send it right there, make their way around. Trying to get that out to the wing, not quite able to. A quick stiff arm there for, from the Lancers, and they're, they're looking to push to the edge here. Almost runs into the ref. Another stiff arm there, looking good. Almost down to the sideline there. They got to hope to get this, get that ball out. Got to get, got to swing that thing wide right. Again, apologies for the win. Not much I can do about that one in the mic. And that's a line break. That's what they're looking for. Able to get a few more yards there. And stood right back up. That tackle wasn't enough to secure it there, but it looks like they'll finally get him down in time. Quick swing that one out. A good stiff arm pushes them another five yards. They just haven't been able to get her down. Making it through there. Another quick one. The, the Loyalist just holding on to this. Loyalist holding on to this ball forever. A good run there. Almost gets them down. And I think that should be it. Not quite, and that's the try. of push there from the Lancers is going to be able to drive that one through. Seneca looked to be a little gassed. They haven't really got off the got off the 
they haven't gone out of the starting blocks moving essentially at all. They've just been walked over by the Lancers, and there's just been nothing that they can do. Seneca even got that got that ball off the kick, but they couldn't move it any further. Once they got out to that to that far sideline, Loyalists essentially just had them on lock, and that's going to be the kick through. Loyalists looking good so far, already up 12-0. Ryan Fitzgerald is going to be the one to put that through for for the Lancers. Looking to get this one going again. And the kick is away. Going to be booting that way far. That's looking really, really good for the Lancers. Wasn't able to do too much here. As, they're, as the Lancers are going to end up stuffing them essentially straight out the bat. And that's going to be the ball now. They're running up running up from the Lancers, looking to go for the far side of the try line this time. And that looks to be punched in. Not quite, just short of the line. Surely it won't take long, though. And that push is going to get them there. That's another five. Loyalists putting up numbers so far. Seven... The 17 and a half hasn't even broken. You're doing pretty you're doing pretty good here. We saw last time Seneca the worst score line that they had against them was against St. Lawrence. Uh 40 to 0 and if this game keeps up as it is right now, they may just be looking at more. Kick is up. And no good. Looks to have been just short there. Sarah Fielding of, of the of the Loyalist Lancers there is going to be the one to put that through. A good push. She's been making she's been making moves throughout throughout this first half. Gotten a lot of the movement down towards the try line, which has been a massive push for the Lancers here. And that kick is away, going deep right side, and there they go. They're looking to try and get a line break here. Almost had it. Almost had it, but that. Pass is going to go awry. Looking to get some movement here. It passes it straight to the, straight to the Lancers. An amazing tackle, though. He's going to strip that ball free. That's going to be a quick penalty there. Looks like a Sting player down on the field. Ends up getting up in the end. And that is going to be the half. Quick moves here by Loyalists. Again, just that 17 point lead straight off the bat. And they had an opportunity almost to get more. That, that was a bad pass there from the Sting. Just weren't able to get any kind of connection. Basically threw it straight to them. And they're lucky that didn't turn into another try. And that's another kick that goes awry. The Sting looking to get something moving. Just going to take a knee there. And that's a good drive there. Good maul, try to get some distance there, and the Sting now have to get moving. That's a good line break, and there she goes. Way down, makes a good run there. A good depth play there from the Lancers, and now that's another short pass. Looking to cut that one back inside, bring it back out. Goes down to a knee, good driving, not quite able to get there though. And the Lancers control that run? No, not quite, I think they do. That ball was loose forever. The Sting, lucky to come back with that one. Really didn't expect it to be so. And out towards out towards the wing there. There they go. And that's a line break. Nothing but green grass ahead. And that is going to be a quick try for the Sting. Good play there. Gets himself on the scoreboard. If they can make this kick, they put this thing back, back, within, uh, back within reach. It's a question of if, and this kick has to go, has to go if they want to get themselves back into this game. Remember, seven minute halves, not exactly a lot of time to make things happen, and that kick, short, had to go into the wind there. You were looking at a little bit of a rough spot no matter where you were on that side. If you're trying to score, of course, you're trying to come, trying to come to the near side, that way you can use that wind at your back. Number nine, Nicole Rossi from the Sting. First person you see closest to, uh, closest 
it was the one to score that one. A nice play off the wing, and that's a beautiful kick there. It's going to land right in between the legs of the Lancers, and the, and the Stinger going to be the ones to come up with that kick. Now they're looking to make something happen with it, but that ball goes loose. And they're going to award... And they're going to award the Sting the penalty there. A quick tap and go. Makes something happen. Makes a few players miss. Able to kick that ball out in time. It's a question of can the Sting put something together. That play makes it look like they just might. At that point, you just take that and run out to the wing. There's not a soul to stop her. That's another five. The Sting. I don't know what Coach said at the half, but they're looking, they're looking on fire coming out. That player might just be down, might have landed funny, but that's not going to be any good. Especially when your try scorer gets taken down like that, that uh, you're not looking too pretty at that point. You have to hope that the Sting can carry off this momentum, even after the injury. Yeah, an injured kicking leg is not going to have that kick go very far. That kick is short. Looks like she was hopping off that kick. And looks like they're going to be going to the sideline. Substitution here. Number 14, Renee Tripp, the try scorer, sadly over down on the far corner there. She's trying to walk it off. Hopefully she can be back in time for the next game because realistically you won't have much time here. And that kick's going to go straight out of bounds. Bounces right over the head of the Lancers. But they're looking pretty good here, as all things considered. It should be a Lancers line out. And it is as such. Good lift here. And that's going to be a ball won by the Lancers, but not by much. That ball almost went loose. And that's another bad pass. Momentum quickly shifting towards Seneca in Seneca's favor. That's a good wrap, good tackle there. And they're looking to make something happen now. The Lancers trying to get this, trying to break out of their end. And that's a beautiful maul. Pushes in another quick 10, 15 yards. And out goes that ball offloaded quickly before they were about to get smoked. And there they go again, trying to break out of this tackle. And that might just do it. That's another quick few yards. Loses the ball there. And that's going to be a quick tap and go here as, they, as the Lancers know that they can't touch him out of that. And quick moves here is going to break them out once again. Not quite able to, going to secure the ruck. And that's going to be another penalty now against the Sting. And the Lancers looking to get this going. If they can keep holding on to this ball, they should be in a pretty good spot. Their goal is to essentially just hold on to the lead. And of course, Seneca is going to be the one pushing this. They need that ball back now. It's a close, close scoring game. It's going to keep it as such. A good move there. Drops the ball, though. That's loose. An opportunity for the Sting, but not quite able to capitalize off the back of it. A good, a good push here once again. And now the Lancers, again, they just need to make something happen in a bad pass. That could be, that could, gen, that could be pretty much the end of it there. Not quite able to as the Sting are going to wrestle her down. Easily secured. And a quick steal. That might just be the difference for, for the Sting here as they need to make this play. And that's a penalty against the Sting. Opportunity, uh, opportunity missed. And, and the savior of the Loyalists there, frankly, has been Seneca themselves. Haven't been able to capitalize off of these opportunities, especially when you get, when you get a free turnover like that. You have to be able to capitalize on it. Lance is now secure the ruck. Quick moves here, out to the wing, and away she goes. Looking to make something happen. Number 11, not quite able to make it past the last, the last defender, though. She made it past, that was green grass ahead. Nothing you can do to stop that one. Kicks it out. Looking to make their way through. Makes their way through the first line of defenders. Quick offload, and she should be off to the races. Not quite. Once again, that last defender not able to get there. Lancers have a player down on the field. Looks to be walking it off, though. Not happily by any means, though. Quick moves here. A good stiff arm. Looking to make their way towards the try line now. Not quite there. Getting every last inch they can out of this push. 
and making their way through now. Looking to get past the post, does so, and that's another try for the, for the Lancers there. Good points put up here, 22 to 10 already. The Lancers definitely took away the momentum that the Sting had going into this. And they're looking pretty good as of right now. Not much that the Sting can do. Down 12, you need multiple scores here, and that's just, more, that's just not going to happen. Not with this much time left. Kick is up and goes wide left. Not able to finish that off, and that is going to be the game. Number four, Ryan Fitzgerald, second score of the day. Able to put that one away, and that is going to be the game. Final score, Loyalist 22, Seneca 10. We have the uh, Loyalist Lancers versus Conestoga Condors. Both teams coming into this game doing fairly decent. And looking to put it through to get this going. The kick is away. And running it down here towards the corner, and down they go. Conestoga getting out of the pile. And a good tackle there to secure it. And good moves here to break free of that tackle and off to the races now. Breaks another one. Gets it offloaded. Beautiful place. Runs through a tackler but ends up going down because of it. That ball is out and rolling towards the, towards the far side. And almost gets there. Puts in, good move, puts in some good distance before getting taken down. And now we're going to be seeing the Condors here making a run back towards the inside. Not quite going to get there, though, but they are going to secure that ruck. One, two, three, pass, and that one's blown in the surge now. Or sorry, the Loyalist Lancers. Now open green grass ahead. No one even in the vicinity to catch him. I lied. Almost hawked him down there. Is she going to get her not in time? No, she is going to get her and stop her just short. And a good stiff arm there. It's going to lead her saying just short, but not for long. A little bit of a flip here to match who's on what side. And that's a quick five points there from Loyalist. Well done there to take advantage of a misplay there by the Condors. And turning it into points is just as much as you could ask. Apologies there if the stream does get choppy. But we are doing our best round here. Lan Lancer's first try did not catch a number for that one. Apologies for that. And kick is up and away. Beautiful kick there. Get some distance on it and some air time. And that's going to be pushed all the way deep into, into Conestoga territory. And moving through once again, putting it through, looking for a second try, not quite going to get there, a stop just short. Pulled back by the shirt. And blown, Conestoga is gonna be the one to hold on to that ball. Offloading here, back, back real deep into their truck, into their, into their end, and, that re and the ref is going to call a foul on the play there, play there. And, they, and there is going to be an injury on the side of Conestoga. Moves here by Conestoga. 
Gonna be putting up some good distance there. And this, on the other hand, going to once again be Loyalist Ball, moving that down. It goes down once again. It's gonna be a quick tap and go for Loyalist, looking to push it down toward, down into Conestoga territory. Just commenting on what I was saying earlier about Algonquin, they did end up coming short to Humber 10 to five. The Lords walking off a big win versus St. Lawrence 25 to five. Kicks have been, point after attempts have been hard to come by today with the wind. And that drive could be enough to put up. I think they were stopped short. Stop short there, Loyalist now looking to make the most of it being this close down to the try line. You have to be able to punch this one through. Can't give Conestoga any breathing room or else they could just as easily turn that into a try. We've seen that multiple times today, just breaking off massive runs down from deep in your end. And drops it. And that's gonna be a call for a knock on. And that is going to be the half. Conestoga walking walking into the half, walking out of the half scoreless, but Conestoga, or sorry, but Loyalist able to put up five along the way. Moving into the second half now, you gotta hope if you're Conestoga that you can get something going. Because you haven't been able to put up much thus far. So you got to hope that you can get everything officially sorted out. Both teams coming back here from talking with the coaches. You're looking to make the most of it if you're the Lancers. You're going to be kicking off to start the half, but you have to look to be able to make these mismatch opportunities. They've been doing so early on in the game. That's what got them their try earlier. If you're Conestoga, you have to look to make sure that you're not giving up any free points. No mistakes. You have to play mis mistake-free rugby to be able to actually make it through. Conestoga gonna be coming down with that ball. Good catch off the kickoff. And legs dropped out from under. Gonna present the ball and away that one goes. Out to the wing. Stiff arm not quite able to bring her down, but another but another member of the of the Lancers is gonna be able to help out there and away she goes. Dropped again, just short, rolls away. This one's still going to be Loyalist Ball. And away they go. Down towards the edge. Breaks not quite able to break that tackle. It's going to give going to give Loyalist an edge here as they look to kick this one out. And instead they're gonna plow right through. Dragging the Conestoga defenders with her. Going through another 10 yards. And here we go up again. Breaks breaks one tackle and gets dropped just shortly thereafter. And that's gonna be driving through. Loyalist looking to put up another one here. Let's flip that, that way you guys can actually see it there. They're gonna call that one short once again. And Loyalist gonna win that scrum. 
Just not able to get there the rest of the way. Ball presented. And out it goes. Juke brings him in. Isn't quite there yet and looks to be taken down short again. Conestoga try line stand has been huge thus far. And does so again. Another stop by Stan corrected. Five points for Loyalist there. Kicks again have been few and far between, so a point after attempt would be would be something rare. Next game coming up as we were talking about earlier, Algonquin and Durham, both teams warming up. Warming up, one behind me, one to my right. Making sure everything's going, both teams looking pretty good, and that point after is why is good. Again, not many point afters we've seen today, but that was a good one. Drove it right through. Man, good play there to almost break free of that tackle. Arms wrap, not able to offload. Keep that momentum. Instead, now we're going to be seeing Conestoga get dropped down again. They have to take advantage of these. Conestoga is leaving so much room for the, for, the loyal, for the Lancers to actually push through their lines. You have to actually commit to this like that. Perfect. Throws off one tackler just and covers another five, six yards because of it. Plows through one, dragging them with another five yards out of it. And good play there. Breaks through the line. Another ten yards. Little by little. This is That's how Conestoga is going to... Getting, getting through here. And another couple, but not quite able to get back to the spot of that ball. That's going to be Conestoga ball again. Loyalist back. Setting up the line, making sure it's all good. Tap and go. That pass is going to end up being short. Ball is presented, and that's going to be Loyalist almost pushing through. But that tackle is going to be there for sure. And another play there. Loyalist almost pushing through almost every single one of these. Every single one of these rucks just not able to present in time. And that's... They're going to call back 10 here. Back 10 here, Conestoga booting that one out to the side. Kick for touch here. Gonna be going for a line out here. You're, you gotta be looking to capitalize. You've pushed, you've pushed deep into Loyalist territory. Now you have to make the most of it. And they're gonna win that line out. Beautiful play to get it out to the wings there. And there it goes. Beautiful, beautiful catch there. They're going to be plowing through once again. Almost down. Got maybe another 20 yards to go. They're just not quite going to get there. They've been stopped repeatedly down by the goal line. And that's going to be penalty against the Loyalists against the Loyalist Lancers and they're still getting held short. You gotta be able to put this one away. Ref trying to figure out if that's in and it is. Conestoga up on the board. Number eight, Devon Davidson, the one to punch that one. And kick is up, short kick. Brought back in there. Trying to kick it out. Don't get there, though. And that's going to be the game. That the game. Conestoga just didn't have enough time to punch that one back. Loyalist going to walk away with a win, 12-5. to 5.